or not to save, a major decision women face with early breast cancer, whether to have a mastectomy or lumpectomy, a breast-conserving surgery. If you have a breast cancer, you don't necessarily have to lose your breast to treat the breast cancer. About 70% of the patients that I treat for breast cancer preserve their breasts. Also called partial mastectomy, lumpectomy removes only the tumor and surrounding tissue. It's considered an effective treatment when used with radiation, but comes with a slightly higher risk of relapse. There is a slightly um, increased risk of recurrence if you leave the breast intact, but there's no difference in survival. If they have a recurrence after their partial mastectomy, then they would have to have a mastectomy for optimum treatment. Several factors may affect the return rate. If you're a young individual, if you have lymph node involvement, you know, then you're at elevated risk for recurrence. A local reoccurrence is most common in the first five years after diagnosis, while many of the risk factors are beyond control. Researchers believe lifestyle choices are also in play. Tobacco use is detrimental, and one thing that actually has been linked with an elevated risk of recurrence is alcohol intake. So alcohol intake in individuals that have had breast cancer is linked to a higher rate of recurrence. Weight is also proving to be a heavy hitter among risk factors. They've noticed that in people that were obese, they had a higher rate of recurrence of breast cancer than people that were a normal weight individual. So there's been a real push for people to really try to maintain a healthy lifestyle after their breast cancer because that should hopefully re reduce their risk of recurrence. When it comes to keeping breast cancer at bay, patients have to consider the choice of treatment and the choice of habit. For Lee Memorial Health System, I'm Amy Osher.